Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about free radicals and antioxidants because we hear about them often, but what are they really? Free radicals are unstable, highly reactive molecules with an unpaired electron. Here's what that means. You've got atoms. Think of the periodic table. Helium, hydrogen, oxygen, magnesium, carbon. These atoms are the building blocks. They get together to make molecules to make literally everything in the known universe. Atoms contain electrons that circle the nucleus. Electrons like to travel in pairs, but for so many different possible reasons, a molecule can lose an electron. And once a molecule loses an electron, then it becomes highly reactive and unstable because it has an unpaired electron. Now this can happen in the body all the time. For example, when cells are making energy, oxygen molecules can often lose an electron. And once that oxygen molecule loses an electron, it becomes highly, highly reactive, unstable, AKA it becomes a free radical. And it will bind to and consequently destroy tissues in the body in an attempt to pair that unpaired electron, which is why free radicals can be so damaging to the body if we don't have enough antioxidants to quench them. Now there are different things in the body that are more susceptible to free radical damage than others. For example, fat and cholesterol. So fat, if you recall, is the main component that makes up the membrane or covering of every single cell in the body. Every single cell in the body is covered by fat and that fat is highly susceptible to free radical damage. Also cholesterol. When cholesterol is oxidized, it can start to cause damage to the artery walls, which can then lead to things like cardiovascular disease. So maybe it's not that there's too much cholesterol, maybe it's that there's too many free radicals. And like I said, free radicals are a part of life. They happen all the time. The issue arises when there are so many free radicals that the body can no longer effectively and adequately quench them and disarm them. Now, free radicals can come from anywhere. They can be created from any kind of stress whatsoever. We'll create free radicals in the body. Um, the sun, x-rays, a poor diet, um, too much exercise can create free radicals. Pollution, environmental pollutions, petrochemicals, when you're filling up your car with gas. And when you have free radical overload, it can lead to inflammatory problems. It can lead to cardiovascular disease, like I said. Aging, wrinkles. So maybe we don't need Botox, maybe we need antioxidants. Because what antioxidants will do is donate one of their electrons to that highly reactive free radical to disarm it and quench it. Yes, when that antioxidant donates its electron, it itself becomes a free radical. And that's why it's so important to be consuming a wide variety of antioxidants on a daily basis. And it's kind of like they play hot potato continuously <laughs> for your body, <laughs> saving your body. Um, so the main antioxidants. Uh, you've got vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, also selenium and zinc, and there are some great supplement formulations called ACEs plus zinc. And these guys work synergistically together, which means that they amplify each other's effects. So super important to, yes, be supplementing, taking good supplements, but getting it from the diet. Lots of fruits and vegetables, leafy greens, uh, and every, every day to combat your free radicals and save your cellular structure and subsequently your DNA, which exists inside your cell. Your DNA is the blueprint for how proteins are made in the body. And you know, we use proteins for things like enzymes to digest everything that we consume. And we also use proteins as the material for blood clotting so that we don't bleed to death when we get a paper cut, you know, things like that. So eat your antioxidants and here's to your health. Thanks for watching.